Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is uh, Solomon Jagwe. Uh, today I am going to be sharing my first impressions of the the free Octane plugin for DAS uh, Studio. And uh, many of you may, might know that uh, DAS Studio is a free 3D program. It's available from uh, das3d.com. And uh, the new plugin that they, they're offering is called the uh, Prime or Free Tier License for Oct uh, for Octane, so Octane Render for DAS Studio, and you can find it under the on the Auto website under the forum section, and uh, just go to Board Index, uh, uh, the custom customer forums and plugin support. So you have to sign up for a free tier account. Anyway, so let's see what uh, you know what fun things we can do with this. So as you can see, this uh, scene was. Uh, just set up a quick setup in uh, DAS Studio, and I've already converted these materials. And you can see that it did, it did a very good job of converting the like the wet material on the ground that represents the water, and also the materials for the this uh, scorpion character. So um, the the way you set it up is uh, after you've installed the plugin, it's going to show up on the shelf here. Uh, there are three buttons. One is for the material conversions called auto, and this one is for the IPR. This is what the window that you see right here, and these are for the settings, uh, which is uh, this panel right here. Okay, and the way they've structured it is that you can access all the settings for the scene either from this panel, right, uh, from the materials, environment, textures, and animation, whatever, and also from the rendering menu so like the camera imager uh, the current kind of where you adjust the samples so all this and also the environment uh, the special effects over here so i'm gonna see if i can walk you through real quick uh, to see um, what we can do and make it look fun so another quick thing is that uh, what you we might know some of you may not know but uh, does studio does come with its own uh, rendering engine called iray yeah so if i were to go on this uh, and click on this button right here to render so this is iray uh, trying to render this scene and usually it takes a little bit longer than you know what octane does if we bring up the render itself so you can see it here trying to render the scene and it's using iray materials i'm just going to give it maybe a minute <laughs> or so so you can see that you know how long it takes uh, so here's uh the render in iray and you can see it's almost uh, when you look at the render previously it, i mean they both do a good job iray does produce very good images and as you can see here and however if you uh, right now i'm using the default settings for iray but you can tell that it's already looking nice. And so the advantage of using Octane over iRay is the speed of iteration. Um, what I mean by that is that, uh, no, I don't wanna, do you wish to? Yes, I wish to cancel. And we'll close that window. Uh, the speed of iteration. So if I bring the Octane window back and let me slide this over here. So if I, want to see how the light is affecting this character, the Scorpion character in a different direction. I just simply just rotate the scene and that's what GPU rendering does for you because Octane is a GPU render. Okay, so that's the advantage. And so any DAS 3D user out there, I encourage you to try out this uh, build of Octane Render. It's free after all. And the only limitation that you have here, then there are no watermarks or anything like that. The limitation that you have is when you go to the settings and it's a system panel, you're only limited to one GPU card. So if I open the device settings, I have three cards in my machine. Yeah, so it's limiting me to one GPU card, which is uh, right now I have the three cards, like I said, and it's limiting me to this RTX card. So I can deselect, but in order, to, if, you are, if I don't want to use this card, I have to choose a different card. So it will only limit you to one GPU at any given point. Um, if you have the enterprise version or studio version, you'll be able to utilize every single card that is inside of your machine. Okay, so let me take it back to the RTX, RTX card since it has more power. So 
that's that's uh, the limitation is that you ca you only have you can only use one GPU card on your machine. So if, for all of you out there who have multiple cards, I think this is gonna be uh, in a benefit in a way, but also a disservice to what you have. But since it's free, you might as well give it a try. Another really cool feature that I wanted to show you that is supported in uh, this build of, uh, of Octane, which is free for DAS Studio, is that under the environment panel, so it gives you several environment models to use, like a daylight environment, a texture environment, and planetary environment. So if you switch to planetary environment, you're going to see this cool like tint. And if you rotate around, you can see there's a difference, right? So this is really neat. Right. So, but you can also use um, an HDR image. So here we go. We just uh, switch to um, from planetary. Let's go to HDR texture. Right. So I have this uh, image that I was, I was able to convert into a 32-bit image. It was it was a 12. It was a 16-bit image from I downloaded from uh, Flickr and I was able to convert it into an HDR image. But as you can see, it's actually helping light this, uh, this scene. And you can see the reflections on the, on the model, on the character. And so let me actually see if I can adjust it real quick so you can see the light changing. And we'll go to environment and uh, HDR texture. And at the bottom here, you're gonna see translation X and translation Y. So translation X is the one that helps you rotate the model, uh, the sorry, the HDR image so that it uh, contributes to, you know, from different angles. So let's just rotate it. And as you can see, the light lighting is changing according to where, you know, the rotation is. And that's pretty neat, yeah? <clears throat> sorry about that. And uh, so, I mean, Feel free to choose between these uh, planetary, I mean, or these environment models. And sometimes you can even choose with no environment whatsoever if you want to composite it into another scene. All right. So one of my favorites, uh, again, as part of Octane, is the ability to uh, color grade <laughs> and do all kinds of fun, uh, like fun, you know, color corrections in here without uh, going into another uh, 2D application. So we'll go to the camera image here. They've added it to the panel, to the render view, and you just click on it and it shows up here. But you can also access it from the render dialog box. So first, I want to play with the post processing. And right now it's turned off. I'll enable it. And as you can see, it contributes a little bit of glow to it. And I'm going to increase the bloom. And you can see how it's doing that. And I'm going to increase the glare power just a tiny bit and also blur out the, the glare. Okay. Now, if I want it uh, like in iRay, when you when we set uh, to iRay, when you set this thing to iRay, it will show that it's actually able to render. There's a light in, in, at the, uh, the front of this scorpion. And I want to see if it can replicate it in uh, Octane. So let me give it a try. Just a, let's go back to um, there's this icon right here and it says edit octane render materials in the uh, node editor so you click on that and the little arrow is going to show up so you just find right now I'm trying to look for the light here so which is this is really neat because in uh, octane for three years marks you don't get these uh, prompts that shows you that in this particular over the in the render panel that these aspects are individual items. So I, I'm really impressed and I hope they bring this to Max and Maya and maybe Cinema 4D as well. So I just click on the light of the, the material, the object which, which material I want to change. And it's gonna pop up this panel right here. So right now it's uh, black and that's which is what, what you see right here. So now that I'm done, I just click away from that and let me bring it, bring back the, Editor, let me see where did it go. All right, it's back here. Okay, so it's black, but we need it to glow like you know, like a light in front of here. So go back, and right now it's a glossy material. Now, glossy materials in Octane can't don't support emission, uh, straight out. You would have to configure it one way or another. So, usually, what you do, you need to go to convert it to a diffuse material 
which will enable you to then set the emission to either the texture or you can use it to uh, you can use just a, a black body and if you do that and you can see it has contributed <laughs> a lot of light to it but we don't need that much light really so we need to change the power of the let's go down here the power is in watts so we can actually decrease it and the glare is uh you know because we have the uh, camera imager and also the post processing contributing to that so under the glare here glare power if i reduce that you can see it you know changing the appearance of that now the light is a little bit too blue for my liking i want it to be a little bit yellowish or maybe red when it's menacing but so what you do is you, you adjust the temperature of the light and let me move this over here so you can see that changing so from uh, 6,500 you just add and you can actually eyeball it now if you go all to the left it looks like yeah <laughs> so that might be what you're looking for depending on the mood so that looks menacing right and then you can go back to the post processing and adjust the glare as well so you can in introduce more and like that maybe reduce the bloom a little bit more so you can see the the rays the glare rays and Right now we have the glare, the ray amount to just three, but you can increase it to even more rays, right? And you can also do just uh, one, and then adjust the angle, uh, glare amount. Let's see, rotation, let's rotate it. Same like those sci-fi kind of look, okay, and. Yeah, we can also reduce the power a little bit more, or even less like that. <laughs> less is more sometimes, like they tell you. But that's pretty neat, yeah? And you can also increase the spectral intensity if you want, uh, spectral shift. Uh, so many things that you can play with here, yeah? So that's looking cool. You can now iterate and see what the <clears throat> this uh, Scorpion character looks like from different angles and that's the beauty of this uh, plugin so again guys I recommend this plugin please give it a chance and compare it with your IRA renders and see which one works best but uh, considering that it's free I highly recommend that uh, you give it a try and you might you're gonna be able to iterate much better and look at also the depth of field so that one I was able to achieve we can close this one for now and I was able to achieve because uh, I was able to switch from perspective view, which is what we're looking at before. There's no depth of field. And then you can switch to the camera, which gives you a nice shallow depth of field. And uh, all you gotta do is again, go to the scene here, select your camera. <clears throat> and then under camera here, you have the camera octane render properties. So that's how you adjust the depth of field and all of those other, you know, nice visual items. But for a game being free i think this is a this is an awesome offering from autoy so give it a try guys please don't forget to uh, subscribe and uh, share your comments if you like this plugin or if you've already tried it let me know what you think and uh, i'll do some more uh, tutorials as i dig deeper into you know the scenes and there are so many other cool scenes like my favorite uh i guess uh, developer on Daz Studio or Daz 3D is uh, Stone Mason. He makes these incredible <laughs> models. So that's why I love testing some of his uh, models in these scenes. And I'll do my best to uh, give a shout out when whoever, whoever, whenever I use a model or an environment, I'll give a shout out to the artist who created it. But thank you so much, guys. Uh, again, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I post a new video. Thank you so much and have a a beautiful week.